Should you use single keyword ad groups in 2024? In this video, I'm going to explain to you what I now think of single keyword ad groups and whether they're actually worth using or not at this point in time. So firstly, what are SCAGs or single keyword ad groups? So basically, these are keywords that target only one specific keyword in Google ads. So for instance, you would have an individual ad group for each of these keywords like best car wash, car wash, car wash near me and car wash LA instead of all being in one ad group they would all be in an individual ad group only targeting that specific keyword. So why would you even use these? Well, typically speaking, the reason behind this was to target the exact keyword with each of the ads and the ad copy, specifically in the headline, which usually increases CTR. And that is the case. If you can get the keyword in there, it has been proven that your CTR will increase because people will see it as more relevant. Another reason to do this was to filter out which keywords work best so that you can further optimize for that specific keyword. Now, real quick, if you want me to you on how to do Google ads for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to do the Google ads for you with guaranteed results, go to dominatemarketing.io, book a call with us there. Back to the video. However, do they still work in 2024? Well, the thing is that Google's been getting broader and broader with their different match types, which is making them largely redundant in most cases. So keywords can still come through your other ad groups because they're similar enough, even if you add negative keywords and so on. So what I mean by this is, let's say we use this example that we were talking about back here best car wash car wash near me car wash la so let's say you got these four ad groups what can happen is let's say for instance you've got best car wash and you want to remove cheap car wash so you add the word cheap to cheap car wash here what will happen is cheap car wash will still come through one of these other ad groups and so that's the problem now even with exact match google will still in 99 percent of cases show it for that keyword and so it's going to still filter through even if you try and eliminate it from one of these while yes you could add it to all of them you will get in situations where you just can't remove them anymore and it still comes through so that's something you need to consider now the other thing is that most keywords don't really get enough searches to warrant making them in the first place which is why if you watch most of my videos you will see on making google ads campaigns you will see that i typically group them in themes or topics rather than individual keywords themselves because in most cases they're not really worth the extra effort to make hundreds of ad groups for each individual keyword when they barely get any search anyway now there isn't really a downside to using them but the exponential effort required to make each of them is not really worth it in most cases so what should you do instead well what I recommend you do and I've shown this in my Google Ads campaign videos if you haven't watched that I'll put a link above basically I recommend that you group your keywords into themes or topics of similar keywords so for instance with that car wash example all of those keywords would have gone into one ad group which is car wash and then they can all fit under there and you can still get the key keyword in the headline. I'm going to show you one other thing you can do as well. You can use the keyword insertion in the ad headlines so that you can still show the exact phrase that the person searched in the actual headline of the ad. So to do this, you would want to go to your Google ads and let's say you're making a new responsive ad. Basically what you could do is in the headline section, you would want to put the squiggly bracket and then select keyword insertion. And so what this will do is it will put the exact keyword that they typed in into the headline. And so here you can also set the default text. So let's say car wash near you if for some reason it doesn't pick up on their keyword it's going to display this default text however it will show their keyword if it does and then what you'd want to do is pin this and pin it to position one and then therefore every time your ad shows it's going to show up with their exact keyword in the headline so that's how you can do that and still get the keyword in there now the last point i want to make is that maximize conversions bidding is also largely taking care of filtering out the keywords that don't perform anyway and it has been performing better and better especially in the last couple of months in my personal experience so it's making them largely redundant overall is there still a use for single keyword ad groups so in my opinion if the search volume is large enough for a specific keyword so let's say between 1000 and 10000 searches a month i would still test out putting that keyword in a specific ad group and then trying to optimize for it because that sort of search volume does warrant doing that sort of thing so if you've got a very popular niche or it's very competitive or you're nationwide or something like that then it would be well worth still trying to optimize for that specific keyword for lower volume keywords which is the majority of cases it's not really worth the effort in my experience and you can still get fantastic results grouping them in the topics like i have shown in my other videos now if you see a specific keyword that's performing very well in one of your other ad groups it can be worth pulling it out and putting it into its own ad group to further optimize the ads for that specific keyword but i would only recommend that if you find one that's actually doing that I wouldn't necessarily go through and do it with every single keyword so that's really it for single keyword ad groups hope you guys enjoyed this one i'll catch you on the 
the next one.